In a completely displaced fracture, especially in children, the periosteum may still be intact on one end. So simple traction will not reduce the fracture if the ends are overlapped. To reduce it, you need to exaggerate the deformity to unhook the bones, bring it over, and then reduce the fracture. Now that the fracture has been reduced in this way, it also mimics what a green stick fracture would look like. And this is why where three-point pressure comes into, uh, into effect. Simply pushing the fracture down on either side will not reduce the fracture. Even two-point pressure will not reduce the fracture. One has to apply simultaneous three-point pressure down, up at the apex, and down to reduce the fracture. Notice that when this three-point pressure is released, the fracture immediately springs back out of place because of the intact periosteum on the one side. This is why your plaster of Paris also needs to do three-point pressure. All that your plaster is doing is preventing you from having to go home with the patient and holding his arm for six weeks. So putting the patient in a straight cast will not keep this fracture reduced. You have to have a molded cast that applies the same three-point pressure that you have applied. So pressure down, up, and down.